We are about ready to begin the first game of the year for uh, Daniel Hand High School in 1998. Frank, uh, we're getting close to kickoff here. Uh, we're playing at West Haven. Uh, they played two games here last year. And I'll tell you, you know, if we can leave here tonight the way we did both times last year, it'll be a very, very good night. That's a lot to be asking for a very young team out there. Even from our standpoint, up here in the booth, we've got a lot of new names and numbers we have to learn. A whole lot of new nicknames have to come out because we graduated that very talented team that we had, we had seen for three years and did such an outstanding job. These young men here have got a lot of learning to do, but they will do it. There is, of course, some pretty good talent uh, left over from last year's veterans. Particularly on the defensive side. The hand about starts over on offense, however. Let's swing the camera around and get the kickoff uh, and get the ball first. Well, that's going to be a lot of fun to see how Han is able to start it off. Right here, it's a very windy night, but the wind is across the that's field. A short kick on the right side at about the 27-yard uh, line. And West Haven recovers that kick. Han did not get the ball covered. Well, the young man didn't realize, I guess, that if it went out of bounds, that's one thing. But it's a live ball all the way. So right off, we see a, 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 a rookie error, if you will, from that standpoint. So defense immediately comes on the field. And uh, we'll play defense here. West Haven gets the ball to 26, and they are rated as one of the strong teams in the state again this year, Frank. Uh, I noticed that the Hartford Current listed them in the preseason coaches poll as number five in the state. Uh, they were a tough team last year, and they get the ball first. Well, they're a double L school. They're a big school, so they have a lot to draw from. And they usually have a There's very a fumble in the backfield. Whoa! And it's covered at about the 30, but uh, uh, there have been two plays and two mistakes, one by hand and one by West Haven so far. An ignominious start, if I may use a $5 hey, you, word. You're going to use those kind of words on us this year? Oh, hey. All part of the education process. We are not going to do too much comparing this team with last year's, uh, Frank, because that wouldn't be fair to these young men down here. They lost about nine of the 11 starters on offense, and uh, it's a totally different team. Uh, a lot of young kids there playing. Oh, it really is, and, and that's going to tell uh, preseason, some of the scrimmages that we were able to see. You know, you, you could tell that they just weren't used to working together, not like the other team, and it will happen. But we'll go, like you say. The other guys are all off in college. They have been. We'll tell them that. The, <laughs> the handy dandies and the walloping wall bangers and everybody. So Sorry, guys. So uh, another penalty uh, before they get that ball snapped. And uh, two tries here in West Haven has gone backwards twice. So far, it's uh, first down at the 35, and they have to go to the uh, what do they got to go to? The 16 about. 16 is right. That was a premature start on the offense. Lost the five. Handle take it that way. So it's about 20 yards to go here for West Haven. And a left-handed quarterback. He's looking to throw long. Oh, and there's a far. There he throws out long. Incomplete at about the two. Okay, it's Josh Stillwell back there. Uh, Number two and 12 for hand. We're going to have to. Uh, well, 12 is still well. And, and the roster we have is an alphabetical roster. It's not numeric, so we're even going to have to work at this. Jeff Knowlton is number 20. He yeah. was the other deep man there. Jeff has got some good experience back there. Still well, I believe, sat out last year, but he did a good job his sophomore year. So uh, he'll do some good things. T.J. Naylor, number 21, covering this side. He was also the deep man on uh, uh, the return man for hand. So it's uh, third and long for West Haven. Probably another pass. We got three receivers wide. We're looking long, and it's way overthrown. Good pressure by the Manley one. That was Sean Manley, and Sean Manley will be one of their uh, outstanding players this year, Frank. Well, he's going to be outstanding for the state, as far as I'm concerned. As long as he can keep his head together, keep his his, his whole attention in the game going forward, he's going to be absolutely outstanding and a, a great leadership from this young man. So, uh, man, looks like they're going to dodge a bullet and on this first possession by West Haven after the mistake of not covering the kickoff. West Haven will punt. He, he will hit it at about the 45. And Han's not going to put any return on. They're going to just Nobody the back. They're just going to let it roll. And that one looks like it should go into the end zone. Very it good. does. It'll be a touchback back to the 20. All right. Well, like you say, dodge a bullet, and you'll take dodging the bullets any time as opposed to taking them. So now they end, change his side. Hannah Morris is the quarterback this year. 
Hunter, we also know, is an outstanding athlete. And, uh, but he has not played quarterback at the varsity level. He had a few snaps last year, not many, just a few. Mainly he was a defensive uh, outside linebacker last year, wasn't he? Uh, and safety, did a lot of safety, safety work and uh, did it outstandingly too. So Hunter Morris is quarterback, Sean Manley is number 40 at the fullback position, and Jeremy Friedler is the tailback, oh. and Morris uh, loses like a yard or two. Okay, what you saw right there from hands down, again, kind of that was not a tricky play overall, but hand is supposed to be going to be running a lot of option plays, and that's what it was. Hunter kept the ball, and he was coming around to really do that off tackle play. You normally see a tailback take from hand. But again, the pulling of the guards and everything wasn't quite in sync with what hand needed. That'll, that'll, that'll fix itself. Eric Izzo, number 58, is the center this year. That's pitch wide to Friedler in the backfield, and Friedler does not get anything. Oh. May have oh. lost a yard. Yeah, Eric is, uh, he did get some good time in last year, uh, taking, taking some relief off Chris Gavin. And Eric's a good man. He's, he's a good athlete, good baseball player. And uh, we're going to see a lot of him, and we're going to feel very, very good with him in there. The I-Man, we're calling him. The I-Man. <laughs> They're down in 12 for Hand. This is Hand's first possession, no score. We're early in the first quarter. Super not over on this side. Who's the receiver split to the other side? I can't get a number there, Frank. Neither can I. And Morris looks to throw, and he's rolling oh, he's left, and he's going to be in sack back at the 10-yard line, okay, bring up okay. fourth and long. Right now, that was that was a very big sack on the quarterback because uh, Hand was not quite able to get anybody open at that time, although Supernaut did shake open on this side. Hunter was looking the far side. They really called that play over the left and uh, was not able to get rid of it before there's a pretty good rush by the Westies. So third and out here, uh, 86 is the punter for Han. That's right, he's a, he's a freshman, I believe. And we're we're uh, again gonna have to... 86 is Christian Anderson. Is oh, he's Christian the Anderson, okay. Well, that's a short punt, and it's uh, oh, fielded and dropped at the 31. Yeah, and Han not real quick on the pickup on that. 86 is Christian Anderson, he's a sophomore. No, he and he's sophomore. Dan Anderson's younger brother, and That's Mike right. Anderson's younger brother. Dan and Mike. And I think Christian is tired of people saying, uh, are you going to be as good as your, <laughs> as your two brothers at football? It's very unfair. It's uh, unfair to do something like that to anybody. He might be the next Nobel Prize winner for peace or something. Who knows? I don't think they'll ever accuse Mike of that. Danny, he's a politician. We know what Danny's going to do. So West Haven, the ball, their second possession, run over Bang. left guard, left tackle, and they gain about three. Nicely taken down. That looked like Bubba Latimer in that and John Grisby, it looks like. John Grib. Grib. That's right. He, nice shot. He's a he senior. played quite a bit last he year. He did. He got a lot of good time in last year, very quality time. What number is he, Frank? 71. 71. Okay, we'll, we'll learn these linemen. <laughs> oh, numbers very well. But again, <laughs> folks, if you please bear with us in this game, it's an alphabetical list, and the alphabet has absolutely nothing to do with the position they play. Second and eight, and they run right up the middle again, take it to about the 25. It's going to be third and about five, maybe, maybe four. Yeah, third and, third and about four. Short of the 25, about the 26. And number 79 in there is Mike Ryan. He's a sophomore. 42 is calling the defensive signals, and that's Vinny Benevento. He played a lot last year. Oh, Vinny's good man. Good athlete he's, also. He's a tough kid. Third, third and four for West Haven. They have receivers split wide each side, now man in motion. Nice pullback for it. Looks like awful big for West Haven. And oh. handed off nice, and nice. tackled in the backfield. I uh, think first man in there was uh, <laughs> still looking for his oh number. Oh my goodness gracious! Twenty twenty ah, Nolton. twenty Nolton. Jeff Nolton. Jeff Nolton made the uh, contact behind the line of scrimmage and slowed him up. He didn't finish off the tackle, but he was the one to mess up the well, play. He absolutely did. He actually took the leg out a little bit, for slowed him down, so he lost all his drive, and able to get his buddies to help. That's pull fourth him and five at the twenty-seven, and they're too close to punt, so they're going to yeah. go for it on fourth down. Uh, yeah, got receivers split wide, both sides. Showing an option. Oh, going to go quick out. Uh, they're looking Nicely at uh, blocked. An incomplete pass. Sean the manly one. Got his arm up in the air. Right? And Put his hand up. And John Gribb was right in there on the quarterback yeah, also. Hand takes over on downs. What the quarterback was able to see out of his eye was Gribb coming in from his uh, left side, 
and didn't really see Manley was coming in kind of low, it was blocked, got his hand up in the passing lane, knocked it down. I don't care what the game you're in, whether it's basketball, lacrosse, football, anything, put your arms up in the air where you think the ball might go and good things can happen. So hand second possession, the first one was three and out, Frank. Uh, we have Hunter Morris at quarterback, Sean Manley at fullback, Jeremy Friedler at the tailback position in the eye, and that's Friedler. And Friedler gains uh, one at most. Yeah, that's normally we see Jeremy as, as a guy who likes to take it to the outside. When the play is called to do a, a tackle jump like that, he can't do it. But normally we're going to see him hit, come and, and take it to the outside from his tail position. So Friedler gains about a yard and a half. Nice handoff. Morris handoff to uh, Manley, who takes it across the 30. Gains another yard or yard or two. Even though it wasn't a lot of mar yardage on that, you like to see what happened. Another good, clean handoff from, from the quarterback to the fullback. That's a quick one. You have to move very quickly and be very sure because you only have a split second to make that handoff, Kent. I bring up third and almost seven. And the blocks aren't quite taking from the guys on the down lineman position. That yep. super nice bet wide left, and uh, we may see a pass here. Going up, he's got a complete first down. Nice. And who is that? Oh, he's fighting hard, Ryan. Nice That's job. Supernaut. Ryan Supernaut, his first catch of 1998. That's the first down, the first first down of the year. Oh, you got it, the super one, you've got him. <coughs> Doing a nice job. Come here. He had an outstanding championship game last year, although he did the passes weren't coming his way. He, he did some great jobs out there doing blocking and everything. He started off the same way, although he lost part of his preseason because of uh, fighting uh, pneumonia. He, he didn't play much in their scrimmages, did he? Not much at all, no. And this time he's got three receivers to the right. I saw Ryan. Morris rolling nice. right, going to keep Ooh. it. And he's uh, stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Real nice open field tackle. They loaded up the near side of the field with three receivers, and Hunter Morris rolled right, kept the ball. He gained about a half a yard. We're coming up on five minutes left in the first quarter. No score yet. And is uh, taking the ball for their second possession, and there's a good run up to the 50. All right, we'll take it. We'll and go with that. That's number 42 carried the ball there. 42, is that Benevento? Benevento one. Yes, all right, Vinny, baby. Vinny Benevento, 5'975 pound junior. He's only a junior this year. Yeah. They will play a lot of sophomores and juniors. They've got a core of some very good seniors, but not a lot of them this year. Right. Too many of them went across the... Uh, platform at graduation. <laughs> he sure did. And there's a pass to uh, Supernaut, and he's got Another the ball, point. and he gets away. He's up nice. the 40. Lunge. Then the first down. Ryan's an outstanding basketball player, too. About 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, Big kid, isn't he? Yeah. He put on some good weight this year, I believe. I saw him a couple times this summer. Uh, he worked at Ponticello's, probably lifting a lot of the um, fertilizer around down there. I know that. You know, bird seed also weighs something, so uh, he did some really good working out there. Looks good. Looks nice and tight. All he, the way he, was, uh, he broke two or three tackles there. It looked like he was about to get loose. Well, and he used his leg strength to lunge forward for those two extra yards, his body height. And this is going to be pitched wide left to Jeremy Friedler, who's got a little bit of yardage, maybe four. Uh, Friedler on the hoof, we'll call that. How's that, huh? <laughs> on the hoof? Friedler on the hoof. <laughs> when he goes over the top, we'll call him Friedler on the roof. About a four when he goes four underneath, yard. we'll say Friedler on the cellar. Four-yard gain for Jeremy Friedler <laughs> going to the left. Uh, it's that toss left. You know, I, I was getting so in, into trying to do the, um, you know, do the names here and stuff that I, uh, I haven't been taking my statistics. Nice little move again, Manley. And Manley gains a couple. All right, hand is starting to get a little rhythm going here. We got Jeff Fitzgerald, is number 88, split wide as a receiver. Good job. He's not terribly large. He's 5'9", 140, a junior. He's out for this play. Well, we have to get in Mary number nine, Steve Latimer. Mary Jean Hevesy to uh, take this roster. And uh, third and three is time. And there's a the first. There we go. 
up the middle. Sean Manley bowls his way for another first down. And uh, Hand is marching a ball. The That's Manley third, one. Third first down here. Manley one shows why he had to start shaving at eight years old. Right there, a lot of testosterone goes. Nice job. Sean Manley, one of the co-captains. Brian Deconcilius is the other. The Decon, the Rat Man. <laughs> We're going to have his name being called a lot. So they're number 30 and number 40. 30 is uh, Deconcilius, who is just going off the field. All right. What was the flag? I uh, didn't see what it was. But it's going to get a come against, against hand, hand. So. I missed the flag. Did we get a signal? I guess they already. Oh, that, that, uh, they had a first down on that carry, yeah, too, and that brings it back. That'll bring up third now in uh, about eight. Third. Short third. eight. Bubba Latimer over here on the split here. Z9? Yeah. And there's Hunter Moore back, looking, looking to back. throw across the middle. There's the man. Good, nice catch. Come oh, man. Uh, that's 22 over there. That's Milligan. Chris the Milligan. Is that who that is? Yeah, Chris Milligan. 22 is his lacrosse number. That's the only reason I remember that. Nice job, Chris, baby. Chris Milligan. Ryan Milligan's younger brother. Anyway, he's he's Ryan who now? He's been graduated for three years. Yeah, he made a nice catch in traffic. Beautiful. There, Heavy and traffic. that was a pretty good pass by... Yes, it uh, was. By Hunter Morris. Hunter Morris did a so nice So they picked that uh, after a penalty and uh, negated a first down. They picked it right back up on that pass play, and there goes uh, Manley up the middle. <coughs> Following 56 on the blocking there, 56 is John Kolasar. I think what we're seeing right there with it was a, a few more uh, fullback moves than we've no we normally would see at this stage of a first game for hand. Part of that's going to be because, oh, we got Craig Taylor in there, it looks like. 34, I think. We got uh, two receivers to the right here. And it's handed off back no, to the left, and there's a hole. No, I'm that's sorry, that's not Craig Taylor. That's going to be Langos, I believe. 34. Yeah, no, son of a gun. Monteith, Matt Monteith. How about He's that? He's a sophomore. Sophomore, nice job. Sorry, Matt. Calling the wrong number, we'll get it right. That was a pretty good gain on his first carry. Uh, it brings up third and two. And this West Haven team uh, you know, was a, one of the best teams that Hand played last year, and they didn't lose nearly the players that Hand did off of their That's right. Roster. They did lose their outstanding quarterback, and they did lose one of their down linemen who uh, got a full boat to uh, UConn, I believe. So I noticed that the uh, preseason coaches poll had them ranked number five in the right. Hartford Current um, in the state. You know, I think you'd almost always have to do that because, again, they are a big team and they've got a pretty good uh, football legacy. At Here's the power point. eye trying to get that first down. Yep. And Manley blocking and Friedler gets knocked down. I nah, think he's hurt. I don't think he, don't think he's going to get it. But that's fourth, fourth down territory anyway. That's uh, gained about a yard. They needed two. It's still a little over a yard. You know, in that particular fourth down play coming yeah. up. Now they're going to measure, but I think that's short. Yeah. On that particular move, what happened, the way the, the tackler came in on uh, Friedler, he came in really kind of sideways, and Friedler didn't have a chance to lunge forward. He just was actually well, knocked sideways. Close, though. It is close to nine. I got it. it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The angle just didn't work in our favor from looking at it from here, but where, nice. Where they had the six over there, Woo! even the whole yard short, but I guess they didn't have the six lined up with the ball. I, I don't want to say that was a friendly spot, <laughs> but it ended up being a... So, hand with a first down here, and where are we? About the 12? About the 12, so really, um, it's four down territory, so you get four to go, ten, and then you still could get another first and go the last couple if you needed it. We just passed a minute left in the first quarter. We played most of a quarter, no score yet. And there's a man Whoa. stacked up at the line of scrimmage, yeah. nothing in the middle of the line. That was really good defense. You know, it's a very very short field now down here, so the defense can tighten up a little bit themselves. That's Benevento there. So if, if, if they've got, uh, if Westies have some pretty good uh, veterans in there, they'll be able to tell when you're more likely to have a, the type of play that you're going to have, whether it be pass or run or outside, inside, that sort of thing. And lost almost two yards on yeah. that play, so... Yeah. Uh, We've got, uh, he can make a first down at the two. 
We're down to 20 seconds left yeah, in the Manley's first quarter. Manley's almost slotted here. Bubba comes They're over. They're going to run inside. right and, uh, and stopped it uh, near the 15. Another loss. Good defensive play by uh, West Haven. So that should run out the first quarter. No score yet. And it's going to bring up a, a third down and long for Hand as the first quarter expires. No score yet against West Haven High School. As we come up to uh, the beginning of quarter number two, Hand has a third and about 13 at the 15 yard line here. And Hunter Moore still got the ball being pressured now. Oh, Gets away from one man three. going left. Now he throws uh, incomplete aim for uh, 34 there. He took a lick and he's keep on ticking, but I'll tell you, that was not a bad play. He, he, he was having to scramble hard. He did think he had a shot of getting out there to Monteith. But he threw it such that nobody else was going to be able to intercept it, too. Nice job by uh, Hunter. That was Monteith, 34. Yeah. Matt Ma Monteith, sophomore. That'll bring up fourth down play. And they're fourth and long at the 15. And last year, we might have said, hey, Greg Welby, come out here and kick us the yeah, field goal. Right. Get the uh, wall banger. It's a chip shot. Hand is taking a timeout to decide what to do on this fourth and long play. See, outstanding opportunity for this young man. Of course, he's uh, got quite a legacy to fill. I noticed a kid named uh, number or number 76 just came in, Austin Suppies. Do you recognize that name? Hey, yeah, his, his he brother had an older good. brother who was a good player last year. Oh, Zach. Z, the Z man. And he's just a, uh, Austin is just a sophomore. He's 5'11", 206. And they're going to try a field goal yeah, here. It's going to be kicked from the 22. Very good move. To make it a 32-yard field goal. And 26 is, what is his name? 26. Good, good the snap. Point. And he up. got it. He and got it. Got it. All it. right. Field goal. And look at the kids. Look at the team go over there. Pan right in on that, Steve <laughs> Look at that, that's wild. Hand breaks the barrier right off. They take the lid off the goal post. Get a three, well, a nice three-pointer from uh, the freshman Lapore. Justin Lapore. Lapore. Lapore? Lapore? Lapore. Lapore. We have to, we have to learn, how, to learn how to pronounce his uh, name. Anglicized French. Which is the worst kind of French. He hit that ball low, and <laughs> for a minute there, I oh. wasn't sure he was going to get that ball. Line drive time doesn't work real well in football most of the time, but it did. That's just like golf. They say it's not uh, not how it looks, it's <laughs> how many. <laughs> That's right, how few it was. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, nice job by the young man. Good and job. take the 3 to nothing lead uh, early in the second quarter against uh, West Haven in their opening game of the season here. Well, what a nice confidence builder, huh, Kent? Yeah, that was great. Hey, uh, uh, maybe you got a new new kicker here. Justin Leg Lapore. how about that, huh? Well, I saw him warming up. Uh, it didn't look like he had long range like uh, uh, well, we're you know, used to from the, from the big guy Walby, but uh, but he was pretty accurate with him. Well, I thought he was trying to kick it through the soccer goal, not the field goal. But so Lapore kicked off. That's oh, we're at the about the 17 and it's bang. It's brought back to about the 30. Okay, Benavino, Bubba Latimer. Number 52, I am going to have to pick his number up. Vinny Paolini, of course. Who else but Big B? Vinny Paolini getting in there. That was an interesting return there. The man who fielded it uh, hit it and uh, faked to two men before he handed off. I wasn't sure who he'd given it to. Well, that's right. That was well. And they had they had a wedge set up in front of it, too. So you really didn't know which way the wedge was going to go. But Hand did a good job it's defending pitch that. Pitch left this time. Run oh, left. And a tough. big hole over there. And there goes the man. And unless they can catch him from behind, that's going to be a long touchdown. 70-yard 70 touchdown for West Haven. You know, I can't remember what that kid's name is. But he was the one that they highly touted last year, I believe. Have to look it up. The hand was able to corral him last year, but he broke through a seam and really took off. 
So they answer, hand three with a six. So at 11.28 left before the half, uh, West Haven takes the lead. Kareem Dixon. He's a senior, that's right. Remember last year, they thought he was going to be. That guy could run. He can. The conversion try, it's a good snap and placement and a line drive kick. <laughs> no, no good, good. Right, off right. to the right. So All right. Uh, score is six to three, West Haven leading hand with 11.28 left before the half. Well, an interesting turn of affairs right within a a play, as a matter of fact. How about that? Well, we got a battle of the bands tonight here, too, Kent. We got the West Haven band right in front of us and a hand band on the other side. Always exciting when you get high school sports with their bands following suit. Nice job. I understand that hand has a, an extra large uh, band this year. Steve, uh, Professor Steve was telling me that we've got um, something like five buses on the road, six buses, something like that. It's always great to see those young people out there. All and right. get to return in their deep man in the return is T.J. Naylor. If you remember the first kickoff that opened the game, Hand did not cover it. That's right. It was a short kick and it bounced sideways. It did not go out of bounds and West Haven recovered. That's right, it was short and hands players just didn't go and secure the ball. That one's long and TJ Naylor is gonna refield it at about the 12. Going to the right. Swing to, to the right. Trying to set a wall and up. Naylor breaks the tackle, breaks another one, breaks another one. Up across the 30 to about the 31. Nice job, TJ, the hammer. TJ Naylor. I, I predict that he's gonna break a punt return or an interception or a kick return this year because he's, he's got some good moves. He's very fast and he's a much stronger player than he was before the last few years. He's he, put on a little more weight. He looks bigger, doesn't he? Yeah, he has. I, I think they're lying a little bit with 152. He looks a lot better than that. Hand with the ball at the 31. They're trailing now for the first time in this game. Six to three. Hunter Morris hands off to Sean Manley who gets about a yard and that's it. Not much there right then. Not much at all. Hey, Paolini, I want to make mention of him again, Vinny. Vinny, we talked about freshmen. He did play freshman last year as a, as a freshman. Uh, saw some limited limited time, but he did get in and get some pretty good stuff. And he's only a sophomore this year. He's got 215 pounds. What number is he? Uh, Vinny, I believe he's 52. 52. Okay, we've got a man down, so we'll have a break uh, in the action here. Didn't see who that was either. And on that last play, the player down for hand was Austin Suppy, number 76, who is favoring his left ankle as he walks off. Swing this time to the left. Friedler, Friedler follows a block and uh, picks up a couple of yards. He sure did. He got a nice block down there that time from uh, Colasar. He did it, he came around and uh, was able to follow Colas out to get the, the yards that he did. I see number 51, Ed Soffer, a junior, is also in that line, blocking up ahead. He's playing the left tackle position. Third and seven. Pretty good breeze blowing tonight. Yeah, sure is. Hunter Morris looks to throw, and there's his man. Complete pass across the 50 to the 49. That's Latimer, right? Bravo Latimer. Nice pickup on that. He had to stretch himself way up. You know, he had to really fully extend himself, which opens his ribs to the tackle, but he's able to pull it down, kept his hands nice and soft, pulled it in, and dropped down as it came down. He got nailed pretty hard, but he was able to protect himself. Good pass. Uh, Although he does take hand. <laughs> he does go off the field, and I'm sure he needs that win. Well, first down for hand across midfield to the 49. We have 10 minutes left before the half. West Haven ahead, six to three, and a short gain up the middle to the fullback. Started to look like they tried to decoy uh, Friedler a little bit to the to the left. There it looked like it's going to go that way, but it was a quick snap off to Manley. That was Vinny Benevento oh, and Benevento. carrying the ball. Ah, sorry, Vinny. 88, Jeff Fitzgerald is in. 
He split wide right as a receiver. And they're running off the right side, Ooh. and Friedler gains a yard and a half. Man, that's a tough yard right there. They're going to have a tough time running against this big line of uh, West Haven, I believe, inside. Yeah, I think so, too. And again, you've got uh, an awful lot of youth out there. Maybe not, uh, I mean, it's youthful both in age and also in uh, experience, if you will. Rand Supernaut brings in a play. Third and about uh, eight for Han. Hunter Morris at quarterback. I, have, I, I don't have the right guard down yet. Uh, I don't see his number. I need to get that. There's Morris looking to throw, and he's being pressured. And it's thrown uh, out of bounds, incomplete, and Hunter Morris had to unload because oh, he did. right in his face. Fourth and long now. Did it really came in on him. Woo. 56, John Colasar in the game. And that's <laughs> Cr Christian Anderson, the punter. Boy, I tell you. Christian it. Anderson in the punt, and he's being run. Oh, it's blocked! Blocked and knocked down at the 45. It's a live ball! And yeah. what? Oh, missed it. Still alive. So West Haven gets the ball back at uh, near the 40. Boy, that, that was really a good block on that play. Dixon, the man for West Haven, really sliced through the line, and uh, Anderson didn't have much of a chance. But the ball was live for a long time. He almost was able to pick it up, weren't able to come away with it before the blue shirt surrounded it. First down for West Haven at the 40. We have 8.25 left in the half. West Haven is leading 6-3. I believe Hand has more first downs than West Haven so I far, but so. Uh, Hand gave up a big play, a 70-yard run a while ago. A heavy weight to Everybody the left side. Everybody shifted left, and yeah. they're going to run left. There's that's their fast. Benna. That's their fast man. He cuts through for a four-five. And Benavino and Latimer on the tackle. What they're trying to do with him is just get him past the line of scrimmage That's right. and uh, get past that first line of defense and yeah. let him use his uh, a little shake quickness. and bake room. Let him use his quickness. You bet. Give him a, a four-yard gain. Second and six. No Latimer back in safeties. Naylor and Stillwell are in the corners, and Hand is showing a very heavy front front five right now. He has been running a 3-4 defense instead of the normal 4-4. Four, four. Uh, three, three run, run right up the middle. Uh, 52 there. He was the first man that made contact for hand. Nolan came in nicely. He's a knowledgeable one. Came in. Vinny Paolini is 52. 52. Nice job by Vinny. He's a sophomore. Uh, and then he's, he's put on some pretty good size this year and he looks, looks strong. Looks like he spent some time in a weight room. Third down and short. Third and about a yard and a half. Timeout. West Haven before they get off this play on third and a yard and a half at about the 31. Who's 12? Stillwell. Stillwell. Third and one and a full house backfield for West Haven. Trying to power it right at hand here. And they hand it off. They get, should have the first down Good right certainly. at the 30. Not much question about that one. If he gets to the stripe there, he's got it. Yeah. I put it right down on the 30. First down, West Haven. Didn't gain very much, but enough. We have a little over seven minutes left in the half. West Haven is driving with the ball. Well, they're ahead six to three here. The number 32 is in there. The little, the little guy, the scat back. They put two receivers left. Now right. they swing right. Nice and job and by Milligan. Field by Milligan. Oh, oh. Chris Milligan. Stay at home. He came in from his uh, 
Outside lineback position. He came in nicely, fended off a blocker. Wasn't a real serious block, but he still fended him off, stayed in position, and took the little scat back on before he was able to build up some speed. Nice job. Four-yard loss. Four-yard loss. Back to the 34. Right side of the field is the left side for West Haven. Uh, they're shifting in that direction. Tight end's right, though. And they're coming right. Yeah. And there he man's got a little alley there. Oh. He breaks the tackle. Breaks another one. Oh breaks another goodness. one, and he's down to the oh right. five and goodness. Goodness. there's a flag. Oh. Holy mackerel. That little guy, you'd think you could arm tackle him, but it's always good to drive through that tackle. Not going to work. Let's see what this flag is. Did some nice spin moving, if you saw. One is, he felt an arm hitting him. He spun out of the way of it. Did somebody get a face mask down it there? It almost kind of leads yourself that way. The ball is spotted at a Could have been a bad block, the, uh, though, Phil. Six and a seven. Picking it up. And they're picking it up, saying no penalty. No penalty. All right. I mean, there was also a chance that it might have been a, uh, you know, a bad block or, you know, a, a block from behind, but. That'll I'll give West Haven first and goal at about the six and a half. We have 6.02 left before the half, and West Haven is looking to score. Got a big full back in there. Full house backfield. Yeah. The old T formation, and they're going right left. the middle. And well, uh, actually off to the left side. They get it down to about the five. They root out uh, close to two yards on that run. Yeah. Too much, too that's much. That's the average is too high. <laughs> <laughs> that's just powering the ball right at you. Uh, that's right. Second down, five yards to go. Hands his minute Second down. Five. We may see that same play for three more carries here. Yeah. Rib Manley, Deacon Silius, Ryan. The hand is all in tight on defense. This time they're coming the to the right with their, with Ooh, their fast man. He gains a yard. Mm. Nice tackle by... Uh, That's 52. Yeah, right Paolini. There. Paolini. Paolini. Nice Vinny job. Paolini. Getting to call his number quite a bit. He's only a sophomore. He's learning well. I'd like to see Hans' defense be horrible to hold real well. Who is 68, the big boy in the middle there? I was just trying to look it up. I didn't see it. I can't find it right offhand, but it uh, brings up third and about four. This oh. time they go Rush, to the right and nothing there. If they can get him down. That's just <laughs> I don't know how 68. far. 68, I'll tell you, I can't pick off a number 68 on our roster. We do not have a 68. Well, we'll have to see if the coach can. Uh, <laughs> as I've said before, his mama knows who he is. So, uh, <laughs> she may not even know. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing right in the middle of that uh, line. That'll bring up fourth down, up. Frank. Uh, fourth. Pick it up. We just got from one of the assistant coaches that uh, playing the nose tackle position 68 for hand is Craig Taylor. Now they're going for it, as you would and well imagine. Uh, West Haven is strong to the left here. They're trying to stretch hand out, and they've got scat back in. Yeah, they got a man in motion, cross to the right. And Go looking forward. to throw. Oh, look at this. Looking to throw, and there's a the man in the end zone. Complete pass, touchdown, West Haven. That was a good rollout play, and the man wide open back there in the back line. For a hand bet. And the hand defense bit. They thought they, they were thinking it was going to be a run moving to that side, so the uh, receiver was able to just sneak his way out back. It was wide open. Nice pass. Overall, not a bad defensive effort. You know, kind of fighting hard getting down there. And they didn't give up ground real easily, so that's a little bit that you can take away on a positive side, Ken. West Haven takes a timeout here before the conversion. Ooh, some team was when we played that never kicked the extra point. Yeah. Always went for two. Now they're going for two. Here's the conversion try, and they're going to go for two. 
They didn't uh, like the results of their kicker's first attempt. Kind of flood the receivers out. They're ahead by nine, so this really doesn't gain them a whole lot. Yeah, they're looking again, same oh thing. Oh, man, open in the end oh, zone. Complete it. pass. Convert Two-point conversion is good on that left side. Nice man, nice move. I mean, it was a very, very good move by the receiver. He, he went like he was going to the back of the end zone, but then he just cut for the post, uh, the inside post. The pass was right there. I'd say they have a very good quarterback. And being down 14 to three right now is uh, an unfamiliar position for Daniel Hand football, but it's not uh, totally unexpected at this point in the season. But already, you know, Ken, I can start to see some things that um, Hand's gonna be able to build on. Let's see, got some other numbers in there right now. Number 70 is in front of us. See if we can pull off. Uh, 70 is self or uh, Spinato. I he's Jake a, Spinato. He's a freshman. Holy smoke. Oh, TJ Naylor is back deep, deep for hand. Oh, that's a tough one. Come on. Yeah. Out of bounds. Imagine hand might ask for a kick over. Well, they get it as a high school. They get an option here, don't they? Yeah. They can take it as a 35 or make them re-kick. Right. And Hayne will probably take it as a 35. It's uh, it's a comfortable and uh, it's going to be a, a very very comfortable move, and it's also a safe move to take at this point. You're not risking any any activity. A lot of injuries can happen on a special teams. And another number that I picked off uh, for a moment there. And it was um, number 74, Joe Norton, was in there. Hey, Norton, he's a sophomore. Hunter Morris looking to throw. Are you looking to throw? Oh, going deep. There's a man out there. Oh, oh super not uh, gets a hand on it, but can't bring it in. It's clear down to 30. Just not able to corral it in there. It was going over his back shoulder, so he's having to make adjustments real quickly. And he did the adjustments quite well, just not enough. And even though the wind may have having some action on that too, for that matter. Nice job by Ryan to get out there though. That was a pretty good looking pass play. It was, it was very good. We're just over four minutes left before the half and um, West Haven has just scored their second touchdown. They lead 14 to three. Hand with the ball. Hunter Morris at quarterback. Rolling right, he's gonna hang on to it. Now he's trying to get around a man. Gains the short one, maybe. That's all. There's again a nice defensive move by the Westy player. I mean, again, he stayed at home. He saw the quarterback keeping the option, and he didn't want him to get outside, so he kind of kept his position. Was able to bring uh, Hunter down. Third and nine coming up. Latimer and Supernaut and Friedler all coming left. Sean Manley is the only man behind the quarterback. Manley's in there to block and oh, it's a long oh. pass play. Uh, no chance there. Closest man was the defender for West Haven. <laughs> aiming for super not long. And Bubble was also in the area. Old Latimer was out not, not too far away from it but a little bit too much beef on that pass. Again, it might have been affected by the wind a little bit, Kent, because it is coming in off the sound fairly strong. The flag is right straight out, so might have had a little effect on it. Fourth and nine for Hand, and Christian Anderson back to punt again. He had the last one blocked. Anderson on the you, you better believe they'll be it's trying to do it, it again. comes up in a short punt formation. No, they're in yeah, you tight. Can see that, yeah, they've got, they've got a punt block on. Look at it. Uh, he's oh. going to kick it and let it roll. That's a pretty good punt. Oh, they're going to run it oh, back. Oh, man, yeah. picks it up, though. They better cover him. He's quick. <laughs> and they do. They got a nice, re nice, nice coverage yeah, on 35. that. 35. Very nice coverage by hand. And that was 54 that made the tackle for yeah. hand. And Mon Monteith was in on that as well. So Belleville, Monteith. And let's see who else might have been. 54 is Scott Bellabue yeah. that's made the tackle. He's 
one of the seniors for hand this year. And West Haven with a uh, little over three minutes to go may take a shot at a long one here, Frank. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. They've got two receivers left. They're going to come right with their fast scat back and uh, pick up of uh, six or seven yards. Pretty good game. Yeah, that uh, Vinny Benavito was able to slice through from linebacker. Got in there, put an arm on, that's all he got was an arm on the leg, but it was enough to take the uh, take the balance away from the runner. You notice that uh, uh, they have run their uh, fast little back to the uh, short side of the field more than they have to the open side. That's right, they're trying to go in an unbalanced way, having a hand going, putting all the people on the other side, figuring on a one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to be able to outrun them, outmaneuver them. And that's oh, ended up, up for the middle. Oh, wrap, wrap. Break the tackle, close oh. on first down. Man, got to wrap those arms. Quick. 71 and 52 in there for a hand on the, on the tackle. The movement. 71 is uh, John Gribb. And who's 52, Frank? 52 is uh, Benny Paolini. Benny Paolini, yeah. He's getting in on a lot yeah, of Just tackles. enough for a first down, however, and we're down to almost two minutes left in the half, so we may see West Haven open something up here. Take a shot at something long, and they're running the right. The side. And there's a quick right. man, and he's tackled. Looks like Paolini. Very, again, little, very little gain there. That was a good tackle by oh, John sorry, Manley. Manley. Yes. John Manley came in low and uh, made a short tackle on him. Yeah, Manley and... Uh, Benavito, uh, Bando was in there again. Good move. You like to see it. See good coverage like that. If you can hold that kid to a two-yard gain, you're doing pretty well, I think. Sure is. Good, good balance along with his uh, fast legs and the whole bit. So a minute and a half left before the half. And up near the 49. Long count here. And run to the left and uh, break the tackle. Yeah. Oh, maybe a yard or so short of the first. Yeah, hand is Across uh, the 45. Hand is a part of the experience factor. Is you've got to wrap those arms very fast. You've got to lock them together. And hopefully, when you've got your arms around it, then you yank your arms back towards you so that you can get the guy's legs from being a weapon to being a hindrance. Third and about a yard and a half, and the clock is running down to 45 seconds left in the half. Uh, Are they going to take a shot at something long here, Frank? Could very well be, but Scott's in there. No, they're yeah, going to quick dive up, up. Uh, their big fullback there. The first down. Carries it for a first down up to the 40. Mm. Manly in there and Deacon Silius. So the, the Manly one, able to do a good job. West Haven just playing power football against hand right at the moment. Right now they are trying to wear, wear down type of football right now. And with him being young, and oh, there's just ditched it. I'm not sure what that was. I don't see a flag. No, I think I think he just spiked it. What happened on that play, Frank? I thought it looked like he spiked the ball. Oh, is that what he did? That's what it looked like to me. But okay. The clock is stopped with 29 seconds left. Second and ten. So I would say Hand better watch out for a long pass here. There it goes. There goes the long All one. All the marbles. Can Hand get in there? It's overthrown. Oh. On the far sideline, overthrown uh, Jeremy Friedler on the coverage. Fre Friedler on a who? He was out there. He was running. Third and ten. If he hadn't had to turn to the opposite shoulder, he might have been able to get that baby. Uh, West Haven would sure like to put another number up on the board there. <coughs> yeah, if Hand could get a touchdown here, they'd be back in this game. Yeah, it's not that far away. It really isn't. So um, we'll see what they're doing. So third and ten for West Haven. They need something to get them at least ten yards here. And they're going to go long again on that far side well, line. And that one's no good. Thrown out of bounds. That was a wounded duck. I think uh, the, the receiver went the opposite direction of what the 
quarterback expected. He turned right instead of left, and uh, he said, go down to the 30 and turn right, uh, turn left, and he turned right instead, so. Clock stopped at 18 seconds, fourth and 10 coming up for West Haven. And I would suspect that they would uh, take another shot at it here because that doesn't leave hand very much time. They're not even thinking about punting. Nah, absolutely not. See what hand is thinking now. Probably another pass play. Well, or no, it's going to be a run back up the middle if they don't bring him down. <laughs> okay, that's a fourth down play. Hand gets the ball, but uh, the clock is down to 11 seconds. They did stop the and change West the Haven from scoring in that possession. Well, like I said, I think we're going to be able to, at halftime, when the ball goes down, we're going to be able to talk a little bit uh, among ourselves and see that there are some pretty good things happening right now forehand, although the score doesn't show it. One of the things we have learn to watch even when hand does not have real strong teams is they they play the other teams tough the whole game and hunter morris is oh. looking to throw and he breaks a tackle going to the right and up the sideline and nice. near a first down and near the sideline yeah hunter, hunter took uh, on the cornerback the clock just to run out yeah with that play but hunter morris gained about 10. So it's 14 to three as we uh, go into halftime. We'll get a little bit of the halftime uh, performance by the Daniel Hand High School Band. And back for the third quarter. Seven, five, nine.
5050 number is 691759. 691759. Second half, about ready to begin. Daniel Hand High School against the West Haven Westies in West Haven. First game of the year, 1998 season. Well, and we'll kick off to West Haven. It was a quick maturing first half there, Kent, for the Daniel Hand Tigers. Justin Lepore hits it to the 15, and here comes the they're running left, and a big hole. That's a nice kick, I got him. That's the kicker that made the tackle. He did, nice job by the leg. Nice job. <laughs> you don't see that very often, but that might get him an all Madden team. <laughs> Justin LaFour kicked off and he also made the tackle, a touchdown saving tackle at the 44. Freshman, good heads up football right there. Nice job. They had something going over there because that man had a blocker with him. Score is 14 to 3. West Haven leading hand uh, at the half. Sweep right. And oh, uh, there's holding. There's, yeah. a, there's an illegal block there. Well, I saw holding actually on Milligan is what happened. Yeah, number 22, <laughs> Milligan was being <laughs> tackled by the Adams apple when That's he was right. trying, to, trying to make the tackle. <laughs> there you go. That'll be 10 will, yards. That play will go back. You shouldn't make an illegal block right out in the right out in the <laughs> wide open there, where even we could see it, Frank. <laughs> well, it was part of the secret is you know the shirt is halfway back to the other goal line, you know. And oh man, but all right, we'll take it that way. Negative well, yardage. That was a good defensive play by Milligan because he got beyond his blocker. It really was. The yep. block was illegal. He got <laughs> uh, past his uh, blocker. It, it really was. It was a real good move by Milligan. Good quick move. We've seen him do that a couple of times. That's a big help for the rest of the team when you can come in like that and hold your own. That'll bring up first and 20 now at the uh, 34. And's gone to basically a 4-4 again. And there's a quick man, and right. he gains about a yard. Not much. Well, right off the bat, you can see part of the change that the team did. We had heard that they're going to try a 3-4 defense. And they were doing that the first half. Right now, you just saw them down to the 4-4. Four four. Uh, so probably because they, they just weren't able to, uh, they were being too much outmanned when they only had three down linemen. They're going to see four now. So it's second down and long. And it's loading up. Yeah, maybe 18 to go. No, actually, that was three men. And they're coming to the right, and oh, there's the quick man, and he gets by Got one him, man, nice but uh, that's a good tackle by 42 there for him. Oh, nice job, but Benevento. Nice, nice, nice job by Vinny coming through, staying with it. He actually led him a little bit so he could catch up with him, did a nice job, took a good angle. That'll bring up third and about 12. Third and long. Boy, it's actually getting a little chilly down here, Kent. Well, the last time we saw a game at this uh, location was the state championship game, and it was trying to snow that day. It sure was. There's third and long, and they're nice going to up a screen. Oh. Incomplete pass. Incomplete pass. 79 in there for hand right on the faster. That's Ryan. That's uh, Mike Ryan. Mike Ryan, sophomore. Nice job, sophomore, big man. Sophomore, 6'3", 244. You know, he, he has some pretty good quickness out there and everything. He already reminds me a little bit of Special K when he was a sophomore out there. Vero Krishwala playing at Colgate now. Uh, punt formation for West Haven. Friedler and Naylor back to receive the punt for hand back about the 25. High snap and not a very good kick. Oh. Off to the left. It's going to hit and roll a little oh, bit. Get on it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and West Haven recovers, it looks like. That's right. Give him a ball they back. They didn't take care of the ball, and the, their referees are saying, oh, well, they gave it back to him. But huh. what happened, it did look like one hand man was awful close, and I thought he had probably got nicked by the ball. Would have been alive, would have been West Haven, because they fell on it. One referee pointed toward West yeah. Haven's goal there, but.
but the other referee overruled him. Overruled so overruled him. Hand gets the ball just Here's across the 45. Another bullet dot. Woo-wee. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter Morris at quarterback. And that's Sean Manley up the middle. Breaks the tackle. Breaks the middle. And about down. a nine-yard gain. Depends on where they mark it. I mean, just short of a first. Good recovery by a linebacker for West Haven. Otherwise, Sean was gone. He'd actually gotten by the line linebacker. He had to hit one more man. That slowed him up enough for the linebacker to come back and take him down. Not an easy task for anyone. So the manly one doing a good job. Yeah. Isn't that T.J. Naylor in the tailback position here? It is. Yeah, it is. That's T.J. Oh, Naylor that's carrying right. the ball. Nice. First down. Nice. And more. And nice. still going. Keep going. T.J. Naylor down the sideline. He's sitting in. No. He's still going inside the five to about the three. Almost all the way. Couldn't T.J. Quite do Naylor it. turns it loose. But you know, the interesting, interesting run. That would really be neat to see on a, you know, a replay or, or following it through. He did not. He went fast as he could most of the time. We hit problems. He slowed down. Hit some uh, shake and bake. And uh, it took one more man to get him down. But he really got a lot on a second, third, and fourth effort out there, Ken. That's about the first carry I remember for him tonight, isn't it, Frank? It is. It's, I, I believe it is his first lineup out there in tailback position. Saw him a little bit in the preseason game. He's a power eye. That's Friedler to the right side. And he gains a yard or so. They had first and goal to three. And that should have taken it down to or maybe the two. Oh, that was a doozy. That's a two. First and goal is a two. Well, Suppies is back in. Good to see that. Austin Suppies. 58 is the over the ball at center. And a power eye again for Hand Strong to the right. They normally run behind right guard, right Ooh. tackle. And there's a tackle made yeah. in Hand's backfield. And that's. I think it was Manley carrying the ball, and he gained nothing. Boy, that doesn't happen very often right there. I'm not sure if that was Manley or... I couldn't tell either. Manley or Benevento. One or the other. Yeah. It was yeah. a poor I think it something. Was I think it was Benevento. Yeah, I think so, too. I think Manley was in the uh, strong back position. So, um, third down now. Maybe lost a half a yard on that one. Back at about the two and a half. Benevento still in. And there's a... High formation, Friedler oh. heading for the right sideline, oh. does not make it. Man, that was quick coverage by the defense out there. Because Friedler's a real quick man himself and uh, tried to take an angle as short as he could. Well, I mean, the greatest angle he could right to the post. He wasn't able to make it. Well, we got a penalty here uh, before the ball was snapped. Apparently a motion penalty. So well, that was going to cost hand five probably. It'll be interesting if, if West Haven takes it, that pushes back hand five but hand will get the down over again that's not all bad <laughs> yeah, when you're down about the one you want it a little further away from the goal though don't you you do you do west haven would normally want to do Let's it see what they do here they're gonna they're gonna take it back five yards well now hand has that down to do over again so <coughs> He may look for a uh, big super not a, uh, for a quick pass here or something. He's got three receivers to the left. Uh, super not the wide one. Watch him for a quarterback option, too. And here comes Hunter Morris. Swinging his way. And touchdown into uh, that super not, right? I don't think so. He's a big boy. I think that was 88. Man, I couldn't tell. I thought that was 80. I, I'm pretty sure it was super nice. Was 80. I, I think he's the biggest player, the tallest player oh, yeah. he had out there. Yeah, he I think is. he's the one who made the catch. He Anyhow, is. Hand gets the touchdown and back in this game. Well, I'll tell you, that was Ryan, uh, and, uh, and I don't know that it really was, but I mean, he is good, and that is the place to go with it. But there's a conversion well, try. It's now 14 the other side of it, the throw on it was absolutely tremendous. So good teamwork. Oh, oh my snap. goodness. High snap, and uh, <laughs> it's just going to be covered back here, but no conversion. Well, not 100% disastrous with that. <laughs> that was Justin Lepore who was in the kicking position, and the uh, snap was not handled by the holder, so all he could do is go back and fall on it. 
So a five-point differential, a touchdown would put them back ahead here. And oh. hand back in this game, Frank. Back in this game, and one of the things from a coach's standpoint, again, knowing where you're coming from this year, is to want to be able to break the ice scoring-wise so, so the men know they can get in there. First, we saw it with a kick, which was dynamite for, for a rookie uh, a rookie kicker to be able to you know, break the ice that way. That was dynamite. Be able to see this way, a good offensive series to get down there and, uh, and do the same thing. Uh, good, good confidence building for the team. With about nine new starters on offense this year from the last year's team, uh, it takes a while to gel. It absolutely does. And, and again, they're uh, putting together uh, more of a game here against this strong West Haven team, and I thought they might, Frank. Uh, yeah, I was a little concerned. And, and part of the, the thing, too, is Hunter Morris, a good athlete, as we know, but it's his first start as a, as a varsity quarterback, and he's a senior. So uh, that's asking a lot of a young man as well to come into these conditions uh, and this type of game uh, that way. There's Justin Lepore. It's a low one. Number two, feeling about the 25 and taking down. Look like Latimer and Benevento on the, on the takedown. If you remember from last year, uh, Latimer seemed to be in on a lot of tackles on um, kick returns. He did. He was he was a guy that really was able to come down there. He was a the man who was probably assigned to get down like that, and he did a good job, did it well, and he's already starting that so way. West Haven, all of a sudden, uh, <laughs> thinks they're back in a ball game. Here's a man driven out of bounds. A short tackle by number 12 there nice for tackle. Nice tackle, nice open field tackle by Josh Stillwell. Josh Stillwell. Uh, Stillwell's run deep, I hear, is that right? Uh, probably. Is that the way somebody quoted it's that? Still, still I water, I think it is. Oh, still water. Well, Stillwell runs deep. We'll have to use it that way. I don't know if that's plagiarism, but we'll we'll, we'll say we concocted that particular phrase. About a five-yard gain, second and five for West Haven. They send two receivers left. They got their quick kid in the tailback position, and they hand off a counter going back the other way. And Take the ball! Tackle the ball! Stacked uh, up after only a yard gain. Again, I thought uh, Chris Milligan had a good shot at tackling the ball before they blew the whistle. And Chris is, a, Chris is a pretty heady ball player. He came back after that. But uh, the host of the team, you could just uh, throw a dart at the name board and probably get hit somebody to help ta tackle that time. Uh, Christian uh, Anderson. Vinny, Vinny Benevento was the last man up on that tackle. Uh, Vinny's doing a dynamite job. So g gained only a yard. This is third and about four. If we don't make this one, uh, probably would punt. Andy Anderson is in. Oops. Oh, oh down. Man slips down, and that'll bring up fourth down. All right. And they run him to the right a lot on the short side of the field, don't they? They do. They try to get him to bite, bite by sending more runners again to the opposite side of the field, more players, figuring he can come up on a one-on-one -on -one and beat you. We said that during the first half. They still seem to be trying to do that. That'll bring up fourth down and six. Punt formation. Naylor and Friedler back to receive for hand. And their punter has not had a real good night of punting. That's a good punt. Good high punt, out of bounds. C.J. Naylor chases it across the sideline. He was gonna follow that ball all the way if he could. <laughs> that one got up in the jet stream. It did. Ball at the uh, 33. Should be, just about right. I don't have any quabble with that one. We have six and a half minutes left in the third quarter. And the score is West Haven 14, Daniel Hand 9. Hand scored first on a field goal, and they uh, scored last with a touchdown. That's handed off up the middle. About a yard and a half. Thirty-four, I think carried him. Oh my goodness. Montes. Montes, yeah. All Matt right. Montes. Sophomore running back. Good size. Five nine hundred and eighty pounds. It's uh for a sophomore. Get get some mature muscles in that. That'll work well for him. Second and eight now. Okay, nice. 
right. Uh, Tanner Moore rolling, rolling right, right, looking to throw, and now he's going to oh. turn it up and hold on for a loss. And number 83, who did that tackle that time, was holding on. He also held one of the hand, <laughs> hand runners back, too, but they didn't throw a flag, didn't call it. Uh, they do have a flag down, I believe, Frank. They have well, a the flag watch. down, and West Haven is backing up. Okay, the watch holding on West I mean, I saw a man physically holding, but whether they did or not, I didn't know, because I didn't see it come out. <laughs> That's what it is. It's going to be holding, just the one I saw, I think. Nice, fresh down! <laughs> Takes it all the way back to the 46. I didn't see it fly. I saw the contraction, but I didn't see it fly, Steve. Well, how about that? We'll take it that way. No First black and blue marks on that flag when you take 10 down. yards that way. First down hand. Pitch wide to the right. Friedler trying to turn the corner Boy. and doesn't get much. Boy, there's not much there for him, and that's usually his play, to get out to the outside like that. Just not there. Maybe I ought to try to take it to the wide side where he can use his speed a little bit better. I'm very impressed, too, with West Haven. Uh, they look well conditioned, Ken. Yeah, they do. You know, you don't see uh, much jelly out there around the belt buckle. Second and nine now. Second and nine. Super not split to the wide left. And it's handed off in the backfield to Friedler, and he's got a good, okay, pretty good hole. Very good. Nice job. He's got about six or seven on that one. That was a good hold. Like to see that, even though there hasn't been a hole there very much, it was nice to see it then. That means that the block stall took, and the, and the men were able to, on that one there, the tackle actually takes his man and pushes him to the outside. The guard takes his mesh and pushes his man and pushes him to the inside. Hopefully the hole stays. Third and three, and here's T.J. Naylor in the backfield again, Frank. All right. The last time he broke a long one. There's Naylor. And Naylor gets a first down, it looks like, from here. Old Hammer Naylor. Didn't get much more than he needed, but I believe he, they may measure this. Yeah, a little bit on the spot. That's they're going to they're measure yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be by a nose, I think. Looks like he should have it from here, but then we're not looking right down the line of scrimmage either. They fooled us one other time. We called it wrong, and we called it conservative. See what we have this time. Uh, bang! There it is. Half the length of ball. First down hand. We're getting close to four minutes left in the third quarter. A good run up the middle of the hole. Mm -hmm. 34 right, for Montes. Him. Matt Montes. Matt Montes, huh? First. <laughs> What's this, the m, m player, Matt Montes? <laughs> Down near the 30. <laughs> All right, keep it going, Tigers, keep it going. And there's uh, Manley. Manley, he bounced off of one tackle, but uh, couldn't get much there. Sean Manley. I remember this West David team from last year, Frank. They, uh, if you look at those uh, defensive linemen, they're big. They are big. And, and, they're, they're, and they're athletic, yes, too. Yes, they are. Very good. They seem very fast to me. They, they move laterally very well. I, like I say, I'm very impressed with them this year. Last year I was too, but Hand was just out, outpowered them. There's a throw, nice. complete nice. pass, and breaks the tackle down near the 20. Who received that one? That's Latimer. Yeah, nice. Bubba Latimer. He's pulled in a couple of tough ones. And he should have a first down nice. if he gets under the 20. Nice mix of uh, first down, Hand. Nice mix of plays uh, so far, as far as I'm concerned, Ken. We're seeing a little more, more Arionics by uh, hand than we normally do, and, and neededly so, of course. That's nice. Now here's 88 coming over here. Isn't it? Yeah. 
Hand it off this time up the middle. Th 34 Montes again. Montes is starting to get some drive, drive in his legs. It looks like he's getting a little confidence. Sophomore. He's a sophomore. He'll yeah. be around a while. Yeah, he's got good size on him at 180 pounds, 5'9". So that's and it's good fire plug type of size. Montes and Friedler both out. Let's see who's in at the tailback position. There's uh, Naylor? T.J. Naylor. Naylor and uh, Manley in the backfield behind Hunter Morris. Pitch to Naylor, and Naylor swinging left, trying to use his speed. He can't turn the corner, however, thrown out of bounds. Closed up on him a little bit too much. Wasn't able to get there. He saw it well, though. You know, I mean, he said his first his, his first line of attack was closed up. So he went for his second. That was closed up. Went for the third, and, it's, and it stays closed. But instead of trying to do anything really fancy, he just took the loss. Of, well, it wasn't a loss. He actually took a yard, yard gain. But that was a good defensive play. They just very, strung very that play out and uh, gave uh, Naylor no place to go. Third and long. Third and about eight. And with three receivers to the right, and they're looking to throw a short one there to oh. Friedler, and he's going to be, oh, he gets away from one packer, but not the second one. Not very much. Just a little screen, a little flat pass out there. But again, the athleticism of West Haven was not bad. Fourth down coming up. They're inside the 20, so I'm sure they'll go for it on fourth. You don't see number 26 out there, do you? <laughs> no. They got uh, T.J. Naylor split wide left yeah. as a receiver. This might be interesting. Yeah. And the West Haven coaches are going crazy. Oh, oh reverse. Oh, there goes Naylor to the right if he can turn that corner. Ah. They got that one hemmed in, however. T.J. Nice Naylor time. came from wide left and a reverse back to the right. But good defense. West Haven takes over on down. Again, again, excellent defense, but a nicely executed play overall by hand. The hardest part, of course, is the handoff on that, and the handoff works. It's something that, I don't know, you might have seen uh, once every two years, hand pull a play like that. Uh, poor TJ, when he got that ball, he was face-to-face -face with, a, with a defensive man, so he had to uh, Get around that man, and by the time he did that, a, yeah, lot, no, of, a lot of other yeah. defensive players yeah, were there. He had to do a little juke around him, and uh, that just was enough time. Took him away from the uh, line of progress. West Haven takes over at, uh, what, are, what are we, about the 19? About the 19. No, a little short of that, it looks like. Nice stop by hand. And Manley, Latimer, uh, Benevento. Carried up to the 21, 22. Uh, three, they gave him about four yards. Yeah, I, geez, that, that seemed more than I thought it was. But Quite a crowd here tonight. West Haven really has got a pretty good turnout for themselves. Hand span stand is pretty good, about a uh, little over half full over there. And you always rather be half full than half empty, wouldn't you? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I believe so. Second and six. At least that's yeah. my attitude. And we're inside of a half a minute left in the third quarter. Quarterback up the middle. The little guy. And uh, it's cut down after a short gain, and that may be the last play of the quarter. And a nice tackle by somebody. Clock is running. We're inside of 10, minutes, 10 seconds now. You know where the number for somebody is? Don't know somebody's <laughs> number. <laughs> after three quarters, the score is 14 to 9. West Haven leading hand as we switch ends of the field for the fourth quarter. Frank, we're starting the fourth quarter of this game on what uh, some people had uh, predicted would be a blowout for West Haven. It isn't yet. <laughs> it isn't yet, and the, right now, the West Haven, being the home team, knows the field conditions best. Nice catch. Oh, that is a good catch. He's got a lot of room to run, and he's going to go all the way down. Nice catch and a touchdown for West Haven. What I was just going to say is, Hand is facing the wind this way. And that's a tough position to be in in the fourth quarter with the stiff breeze that's out here. But, you know, that was an excellently executed play by the uh, quarterback and receiver. A nice catch and good blocking with him. Yeah, the other wide receiver that was out this side went across field. 
and Latimer was the last hand player to have a good shot at him and was uh, taken out by the uh, secondary receiver. West Haven, West Haven are now ahead 20 to nine. Trying to decide what to do on a conversion. I guess they've taken a timeout here, haven't they? Looks like it. Timeout, West Haven. I think Hens coaches were on the field first. But you know, it's with the wind. Uh, they really don't need it. A two point doesn't do any more for them than one point, really. Uh, yeah, it really doesn't, so. You don't know, they missed the other point after, so they- I don't think they have a kicker that they're very confident with yet. Doesn't it se seem to be that? Yeah, and the ability to be able to make two yards, they, they, I think they're gonna feel fairly confident of that. Hens defense has done quite well overall. I mean, really, you gotta think of it as a big play like that. There are actually two big plays so far uh, that are really the difference in the game. One is the long 70-yard run by uh, number 32 for West Haven, Kareem. And they're going to go for two here, Frank. Yeah. The last time was a pass play to the back of the uh, end zone. What do we got? And it's a sweep Three. left this time. And, and he got and it. And wide open. So the conversion is good. Well... 22-9. Two big plays, as I said. One a 70-yard run, and the other one right here, an 80-yard pass play. So, big plays uh, have got a hand in the in the negative position right now. But as a whole, they've 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 hit it real hard. They've they've had a pretty good night so far. Maybe they can come back and cut it back again. Again, I can't uh, really say it too much. Uh, it's a young team, and as I say, if you're counting number of uh, years of experience and stuff, uh, our, our total amount of varsity time, it's quite a young team. Nice mix of sophomores and juniors, some, some good seniors in there, but it's a tough way when you have to rebuild so much as you did on something like offense. You can do all the uh, preseason stuff you want. It's nothing like you know, you know live play. Game conditions. T.J. Naylor is the deep man for him. And that ball is going to get kicked over his head into the end zone. Kick was with the wind, Ken. That one went pretty darn well. Hands <laughs> offense now with the ball is at 20. We have 11.45 left in the game. And Hand needs two scores at this point. Sure do. And that's Friedler in the backfield. Ah. Boom. Gains a yard or so. About two. He came up like a dead end right then. There was nothing there to do. I saw Jeremy Friedler put both hands on that ball. Yeah. 58. Izzo looks a little shaken up after that play. Uh, oh, I guess so. That's Eric Izzo, the center. Boy, I didn't see anything either, so I have no idea. He probably got turtled by, a, the, you know, the man who was assigned to take and to intimidate the center. Probably what happened, but uh, you, you almost never have your eyes in that place in the field, so you don't know what, what really went on. Eric, the I man's a uh, real super young man. After um, a long break there, Eric Izzo was the injured player for hand, the offensive center. Long pass play, out of bounds. Eric Izzo, the offensive center. Uh, we got word from one of the assistant coaches that it might be related to a neck injury, but we don't know anything more than that. They have taken him off on a stretcher, on a on a board with his uh, 
head held in one position and we uh, we hope he is okay but he's off to an ambulance at the present time we certainly do hope and pray that uh, eric will be able to get back and join us next week and all precautionary measures hopefully we've got a penalty before the snap here it's going to be third and eight and now a penalty take them back a bit what was that call boy i don't know <laughs> I didn't pick up on that. Didn't have a chance to get set before the play. No. So now it's and third it and about 13. Ball at about, about the 17. Hunter Morris, the quarterback. Jeremy Friedler, the tailback position. That's uh, Morris. Morris is uh, in trouble back there. Gets away from a man. Now he's going to throw long. And... Uh, it's almost caught by Ryan Supernaut oh, in midfield. Excellent try by Ryan out there. He had two men right around him. Almost able to bring it in. Doing his centering chores right now, I believe, is Tyler Young, who's a junior. I believe he's taking over Eric's chores. So it would be fourth and long here. Uh, 54 is the uh, snapper. Yeah, a long snapper. And that's um, Christian Anderson in the punt. That's a good snap. And oh. not a very good kick by Anderson. A short kick. That will bounce and roll down to about the 43. <laughs> it's into the wind also. So uh, didn't get a real good piece of it anyway, but uh, into the wind, it wasn't going to gonna get much uh, distance out of it. So awful good uh, position to start from for West Haven. We have just under 11 minutes left in this game. West Haven is ahead 22 to 9. And I never did figure out who the snapper was on that. Frank, did you? No, I wasn't even looking for it. 54. Scott Belvo was the, apparently the snapper. Sweep right, cut back. Man keeps his feet and goes forward for about seven or eight. They're not going to give him quite that much. Maybe six. Maybe six, right. Bellevue came in back in again, Scott did. He was the long snapper, but he's back in now in uh, linebacker position. Vinny Benevento is playing that inside linebacker position, calling the defensive signals for hands. Second and four. Quarterback hands off on oh. the left side. A big hole, and man heading for the end zone. My goodness gracious. Touchdown, West Haven. <laughs> wow. He's quick. <laughs> he is quick. You don't have to give him a very big hole, and he's going to find it, and he's gone. Excellent blocking for West Haven that time. They did open the seam right to the left of the uh, guard, uh, left guard. But there was, there was uh, nobody near him. Nobody even put a hand on him, I don't think. Here's a conversion. And with the wind at their back, they're going to try the kick. And it's a good snap and placement. And straight, a, straight ahead kicker, too. Kick is off to the right. No good. You see that? He was a straight ahead kicker. 28-9, yeah. <laughs> Well, he's tried two, and he hasn't made one yet. Wide right both times. But that, uh, that uh, dash in for a touchdown kind of put this game almost out of reach for Hand with 10 minutes left. Yeah, Hand would have to come up with a couple of real big plays themselves to, uh, to be able to counter something of where, where they stand right now. As I said uh, earlier, two big plays, 70-yard uh, run play from scrimmage, 80-yard pass play from scrimmage. So really, uh, 14 of those points up there of the 28 uh, are on big plays. Makes a difference, but you only have to win by one, Ken. <laughs> T.J. Okay. Naylor is back uh, about the 10 for hand. Look how the kicker has that ball lean back. Yeah. I don't know how he can kick at that position. It's 
a squib kick. Covered to the 30. Ah, by Sean Manley. He fell on it. Would have been interesting to see him be able to pick it up and run with the ball from, from that position. He might have been able to get it up there a ways. Those squib kicks awful hard to take a hold of, though. I'm not sure that was an intentional squib kick. <laughs> I think he uh, just hit it low. I'm not either, and again, it was interesting. It was a straight ahead kick. Yeah. No sidewinder soccer style. First down for hand at the 30. Sean Manley and Jeremy Friedler in the backfield behind uh, Hunter Morris, oh. and Morris is, is stopped for a loss. Well, you know, he actually tripped on uh, Jeremy's uh, feet. Jeremy was pushing a block forward, and I think uh, Hunter ran right into him. Jeremy was probably trying to knock down one of those great big boys that's <laughs> over there. Boys, yeah. Bounce back. Oh, they are big. They've got a 288 guy that's out there a lot. They had 250, 237. That was about a seven yard loss by hand oh. on a keeper to the right by Hunter Morris. That's uh, 72 in their centering, Tyler Young. <laughs> Hunter Morris rolling off, off to the left side. Oh. Incomplete pass. Defensive man got a hand on it. Aimed for Bubba Latimer. Yeah, and Latimer was actually open. Uh, they need a little more loft, a little more air under the ball to get it to him. Good defensive play again. Supernaut was probably a little bit too far to reach. And he, he got out there and that, that, play, that running pattern of his and would have had to take a gargantuan throw to get it to him. Into the wind. Into right. the wind, yeah. Kind of hard. The uh, onshore breeze that we have here tonight. That's third down now at about 17. Third and long. Morris rolling left, looking to throw again, and it's Got a it. line oh. shot. We're in and out of the hands of Latimer. That was a pretty good pass. It was. It was just a tad, just a half a step behind him. So Bubber had to really kind of uh, turn his body around to try to get it in right, but. Boy, it was close. It was close all the way. That would have been nice to see. Fourth and long for um, Han. I noticed Tyler Young is out. Uh, let's see who the snapper is here. 54, well, right? Yeah, yeah I, Bell, apparently uh, Scott Bellavo is the long snapper. Is the long snapper and uh, Christian Anderson, punt formation. Good snap. And oh. another fairly short kick. You'll see how it rolls. It's going to get a little roll. It's going to roll across midfield. Still going. Nice, nice, nice. Ten-yard roll, 11, 12. <laughs> Blow on it. Yeah, keep blowing. <laughs> and it's down at the 42. And that was the long snapper who downed it. Oh, my goodness. Again, that wasn't with the too ball bad. With nine minutes left in the game. That, that, that got a little distance for hand that time. That was about a 35-yard with with the roll, a very favorable roll. But West Haven with a 19-point lead and nine minutes left in the game will probably just grind it right at hand. I would use that so. clock. I would not expect any pass this year. No, they want to take time off the clock. And oh the man kind of breaks through, and he's oh. off to the races, and this T.J. Naylor can get him. And Naylor brings him down at the 10. Nice the tackle. 12. Nice tack and nice speed by, uh, by Naylor, but again, able to get right through the, the line with it, the big, big uh, offensive blocking. And um, West Haven has a man that's really fast, but uh, T.J. Naylor can run, too. Yeah, he came up. from the far side of the field on that play, didn't he, Frank? That's right, his far corner position. He came all the way across to get it. Nice follow through on his part. First down for um, West Haven at about the 12. And there he goes again to the left, and he is wrapped up at the 10. Nicely diagnosed by Nolan. Uh, also 56 there. Who we got? John Colasar. Oh, Colasar, you know yeah. That. Yeah, nice, nice, uh, nice read on that. To get, get in there and make the tackle without too much of a gain. Couple yards. About two yards. Just inside the 10 now. And they're just going to keep feeding it to that 
quick kid in the backfield there and see what he can do with it. Uh, we got a movement here. Whoops. That man is the yeah. one that keeps the clock, isn't he? Yeah. Delay a game, too late getting it off. Well, and again, they're not worried too much about the five yards, but they just want to take all the time they could off the clock, I, I, I suppose. I'm not sure that's the case, but. Well, the wide receiver on the right and uh, switch positions with the with the uh, man in the slot. So second down now at the 15. I can make a first down at about the two. And has to come up with some big plays. Yeah, oh, counter nice back cross. to the left, oh. and he's still going in about the six. Very nice play. Very nice play. The tackle was made by 56 for Han, John Colasar. Colasar again, yeah. But a good run down to the six. Nice looking run. Third and about four. Now uh, you're Craig, also at Craig Taylor, 68, comes back in the middle of the defensive line. You're also at the point of a game when it's awful hard on the defense. Uh, you've been out there a lot, you're getting tired. And they keep on coming at sweep you. right this time. And the man uh, spins away from one man inside the five to about the three. Hey, I hear his Milligan actually slowed him down enough for the rest of the troops to come over there and put a licking on. It's going to be fourth and one at about the four. Don't think, don't think they're going to try a field goal. <laughs> no. <laughs> Clock is running. We're down near seven minutes left. West Haven uh, safely ahead here, 28 to nine, and threatening again. Fourth down play at the four. It would be nice to see the defense be able to come up strong and hold they it. Can't figure out what they want to uh -huh. run here, so West Haven takes a timeout before they run the fourth down play. Yeah. Play coming up. Looks like West Haven has their kicker uh, in training down there. Do they? Do they? Paul? <laughs> See. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Paul had a good view of this <laughs> secret weapon. <laughs> okay, a fourth down play, and they've got a full house backfield. Oh, now they switch to an eye. Oh. Little stuff one around. receiver split wide each side. Oh. They're going to run up the middle, and he bounces. So I oh, no, get him! And he oh had it on the man, second effort. Second effort. <laughs> they had him stood up at the line of scrimmage there if they could oh. have uh, pushed him backwards at that point. He stayed alive. Well, wow. this will be interesting where they spot this. No, oh, they, they didn't him give short. it to him. All right. And stops the enough stops West Haven chart. Yeah, enough defensive penetration to be able to save it. Well, that's good. That's you know that's that's one little uh, nice little mark in the <laughs> for the good guys right well, there. As I said earlier, Frank, uh, even when Hand has not had their state championship type teams, they have always played tough and hard for the whole game. So deep in their own territory here at about the four, we got six and a half minutes left in the game. Run up the middle across the five. Oh, okay, Sean Manley. Nice carry, gets about five, six maybe. Yeah, five I guess. Close to five yards. It's all right, give a little more breathing room, a little more think room down there. By the way, I also understand that the uh, girls field hockey team played Brantford to a one-to-one -to -one tie. Today? Yeah. 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 First uh, field hockey game of the season. The girls did a good job, one-to-one. -one. Brantford's always quite a field hockey powerhouse. Ann's team has uh, really come on strong. It's a pitch left this time, and uh, Friedler. Like a pretty good run there by Friedler. Yeah. He may be a yard short of a first down. I said Friedler before I even called Sarah's <laughs> number on that, Kent, because he's got a running style that's uh, fairly distinctive as far as I'm concerned. Nice job. Also a very good lacrosse player. Friedler on the hoof works very well out there. Third down now and about a half a yard for a first. I do have a speech impediment too, Paul. <laughs> There in the short one. Let's go, guys. Another first down. Let's just do it. Pitch wide left. Naylor. DJ Naylor. Wow, what a tackle. And Naylor maybe stopped short. Oh, it's going to be close. 
Boy, though, what a tackle. That was a beautiful tackle. Yeah, he may have lost the yard. Yeah. Fourth down. Fourth down for Han at the at their own uh, 13. I guess so. Yeah, Anderson's in. So Handy Andy's in there to try the kicking chores. Again, the wind is uh, right, right uh, tough coming out off the sound. Christian Anderson in the uh, punt formation. And West Haven doesn't have anybody very oh. deep. He gets it out of there. Fair catch signal, and out will roll a little bit. Latimer down to the 43. seconds coming and getting colder <laughs> I keep th thinking I feel some raindrops every now and then but I don't know sweep right this time man. and there's a man uh, yeah. He gains about uh, six or seven. Six, seven, now. yeah, and his first contact with is about a one-yard gain. Pretty good running. I guess they, get, they pushed him out at about five-yard gain. I think uh, 20 it did look like Ryan, Ryan is in on there. 20 yeah. Nolan? Nolan. Oh, I also saw Ryan in there. That's Michael Ryan, not Sean, Sean Ryan of uh, Patriot Games fame. <laughs> oh. Jeff Nolan, number 20. In on that tackle, he's one of the few senior seniors out there. Yeah. Third down and five. Stopped him right at the line of scrimmage on that one. Good job, Fred. Just a good Bang. Uh, counter coming back this way. Gained about one, maybe. But that'll bring up fourth down. That's right. That was a nice read by hand on, on what the defensive action was going to be. I mean, the, what they had to do that time. That was a, went for a big gainer last time I remember that play going through. Uh, Mike, Mike Ryan in on that tackle. He's getting a lot of playing time Mike in the middle of the line. Sophomore, big boy. Like I said earlier, kind of reminded me of Vera Kishwala, Special K of... Uh, the last three years, so uh, doing a good job, and he's learning. I mean, that's the big thing when you start learning as a sophomore. He's right beside John Gribb, 71. Fourth down play for West Haven. They're going to sweep left. And Blocks are good. Well, Latimer, should nice have, job. Should have the first down, however. Latimer in on the tackle. And Latimer had full contact with a blocker out there, and he slid the block well dove behind himself and helped take down the uh, the running back. So first down on that Vinny play. Vinny Paolini in on the tackle also okay, with Vinny Latimer. Sir. Good job. Good job by Vinny. Co-captain Deacon Silius. The rat man, Deacon, as we say. Sean right Manley there. on that down line. Manley, Ryan, Gribb, and uh, Deacon Silius. Run right up the middle. Oh. Still going. Man. Jeff Knowlton comes in and helps finish off the play. Good good leg drive out there by the offensive player, Jason Ackland. This game has slowed down appreciably, Frank. It sure has. We're coming down <laughs> to about two minutes left in the game. It seems Just like it's going in slow <laughs> motion. <laughs> West Haven is leading 28 to nine with two minutes left in the game. And they have the ball and they're in no hurry to run plays here. Not gonna use every second they can. Second down and five. And they're just pushing it right at the middle of hands line most of the time and there's another one. 
Off to the left, break the tackle, and a short tackle made by Latimer at the 20. Again, good job being right, sticking it right in there. Bumble Latimer seems to be in on a lot of tackles tonight. He's played a good game. He really has. He also did a good offensive job. He had a couple of real outstanding pass receptions. So going both ways this year is Bubber. Last year he didn't get much offensive time, a lot of defense. <coughs> First down, however, for West Haven. They keep the drive going here with the clock running. And they would like to just uh, grind it out and hold the ball. There they That's go. Uh, yeah. Another one right up the middle into a huge pile of manpower there. Yeah, there's not going to be a lot of uh, a lot of fancy moves and stuff like that out here now. They're just going to keep pounding and pounding. We're inside of a minute left in the game. It's the ball down at the 20, second down and eight. We will mention one more time that... Uh, the offensive center, Eric Izzo, was injured in this game and was taken off by ambulance. Uh, we don't know the extent of the injury. Uh, we heard from an assistant coach that it was probably uh, in the neck area, but we uh, hope he uh, isn't injured too badly. Swing to the right. And Latimer's in on that. Again, he's, he's, oh, he's got a good nose for the ball. And we're down to 15 seconds, and the clock is running, so that may be the last play of the game. And Daniel Hand High School's uh, well, longest winning streak in the uh, state has come to an end here, Frank. Yes, it has. But uh, you realize that starting the fourth quarter, they were only five points behind. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so they made a game of this for three quarters, but after that, it got away from them a little bit. Very gamey. You're right, Ken, and there were some bright spots in it that the coach can take away and use from a positive standpoint, but also some noticeable places that they have to make improvements, and they'll work on that this coming week. I thought Hunter Morris did a pretty good job at quarterback for his first varsity quarterback game. I did too. Until he had to start pressing, you know, and, and forcing the ball a bit, he was right on the numbers with the, with the passes, and the receptions were doing very well uh, from receiver standpoint. Ryan Supernot had about three or four outstanding catches. T.J. Naylor had a couple good Naylor. runs there. Uh, uh, Latimer, of course, on defense. Uh, Paolini, he was in on a lot of plays. Uh, Benevento was in on a lot of plays. So they've got some kids that are uh, making some plays for them. They just don't have quite enough of they them have. yet. And they were playing a very, very good team. Uh, best West Haven team we've seen in the years we've been watching them play. Uh, very good shape, well drilled. Uh, uh, very disciplined. Uh, sometimes their discipline always seemed to break down in the past. Did not this time. So not not a sterling start for Daniel Hand, but certainly not one you have to really hang your head real bad about. So we'll wrap it up at this point. This is Kent Sprague with Frank Torta, Paul Sprague, and Steve Fuse on the cameras. The final score here was 28-9. Uh, to 9, West Haven winning over Hand High School. See you next week.